there. How are you? Welcome to Supercharge Fridays. My name is Sonal Career Strategist. If you've been around before, welcome. If you're new, welcome. Wherever you are, how's it going? Come in, in the comments. Uh, give us a little like. In fact, give us a round of applause because as you can see, I have uh, two people here with me today, two really special people. And no matter how you look at it, it takes courage to say, hmm, I think I need help. And it also takes courage to say, I think I need help live, like on social media, right? And uh, I'm not going to try and make it, uh, you know, sound very simplistic, but there's a third level. And I think it takes more courage when you're a man, because there is this sort of impression that men like to do that. I'm not saying all men and I'm not saying all women don't, but that's special. So a uh, big round of applause, please. A very warm welcome to Samuel and to Satish. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Absolute awesome. pleasure to be here. Fantastic. So uh, if you can hear us, see us properly, I know this is kind of obvious in the, in the chat. Come in and say, hi. Hi, Gandhar. How are you doing? So you guys can also see the comments. If you see on the right hand side, it'll say private and it'll say uh, okay. Yeah, okay. If you don't want to see, you can put it to private if it's distracting. I forgot to tell you. So we're going to do uh, pretty interesting stuff today. We're going to talk about uh, live uh, audit of uh, Samuel's profile and, and Satish's profile. I just realized we are the three S's. <laughs> it's just great. I just occurred to me. So we're going to get right into your, your profile uh, in terms of where you are today and where you would like to be. And we're going to have this public declaration from the two of you that you promised to work on it. Um, yeah. You can't go back on your word. So we're going to get going. So um, hi, guys. Hi, Namrata, Prashant, Mohammed, Samani. Uh, lovely to see you people. How are you guys? Uh, so let's dive right in. So what we could do is maybe let's start with a little bit of an intro uh, You know, to tell people a little bit about who you are uh, what do you do? So, Satish, let's start with you. All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Satish. I'm from uh, Bangalore in India. Uh, I'm a Navy veteran. And uh, being here today is especially, uh, you know, uh, commemorative because today is Navy Day uh, in India. Uh, I served for 23 years uh, in the Navy uh, before transitioning to a corporate role in 2017. Uh, while in the navy uh, i've i've been uh, i've served on ships uh, i've flown about 2000 plus hours i've served in staff roles so it was a mix of operations and strategy and a lot of leadership opportunities and after 23 years in the navy i wanted to try out my skills uh, in the corporate world so i worked with rico uh, the office automation major for uh, 3 years and uh, recently i have uh, taken a little sabbatical to recalibrate and uh, move on to something bigger. And right now, I am here to try and figure out what is that bigger and how can I use my LinkedIn profile to actually be there and Fantastic. get there. Fantastic. Very warm welcome. I don't know if you if you caught this, but 2,000 hours on ships uh, and today is Navy Day. So what a coincidence, because I did not know that um, when I was doing this random selection. So this is... Uh, this is great. Uh, Satish, what is it like uh, being on land again? <laughs> it feels good because uh, after a long tour of duty uh, and three years uh, traveling a lot while working with Rico, uh, a couple of months ago, I uh, you know, landed back and dropped anchor at home. Uh, so, And today being Navy Day, it's, it feels really very special and kind of a great coincidence uh, mm -hmm. that I get to speak about my Navy career on Navy Day and uh, live uh, to an audience that's global. Absolutely great. Fantastic. Fantastic. This is wonderful um, to have you here. A very warm welcome, Satish. Thank and you. now uh, over to Samuel. Samuel, do you prefer Sam? Sam, yeah. Um, OK, let's, let's go. Great. Hi, guys. My name is Sam. Um, I'm from Chicago, and I live in New York now. I've been here a little bit over a year. I work for B&H Photo and Video. I do business development and sales. Um, I was a journalism major at the University of Maryland, and b and has afforded me the opportunity to work within the camera and photo and lighting industries, which I have some knowledge about. Um, I'm here today to navigate my next steps through 
um, professional career. This is my first job at BNH, and now I kind of want to gather my strategy on how to continue to grow in, in the corporate world and, and really wherever um, this career takes me right now. I have a job, and I'm looking to turn it into a career. Oh, I like that. And you've, you're just starting your career, right, Sam? It's been a little over a year. I just had my year anniversary at d wow. but I think it's important to kind of be flexible and open to, you know, as many options as possible. Fantastic. I'm so glad that you're starting on the right foot because uh, a lot of young people tend to ignore things like uh, LinkedIn, etc., because it's mm -hmm. not you know, yeah, it's uh, one of those necessary evils. And uh, Satish, I'm not going to say, you know, you and I are the same age. I don't know that. But I do know, I wish LinkedIn existed when I was starting my career. <laughs> I, 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 I wish that too. It would have made a it would have made a fantastic difference for sure. But you know, it wasn't there, and we were creative. We got by in our own ways. But I think that it's a gift um, that it's here. So fantastic! So we're gonna get we're gonna get cracking. We've got a lot of ground to cover, and I can see in the meantime we've had some people join us. Hi, books. How are you, Shashidhar, Jihan, Prashant, Sarvesh, Sandeep? Lovely. So fantastic you guys are here with us. So this is great. We're going to get into the good stuff because I know everybody's here for that. So before we get into the profile, because the, there is a tactical side to it, which we're going to do together. I love the tacticals, the practical tactical stuff. There's also a strategic side to it. So um, what is it that Sunzu said? I'm going to kill it, what he said. I'm going to butcher it. He said, uh, tactics without help me out here tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat and the strategy before tactics. do you know what i'm talking about that famous one no i'm gonna have to google it if somebody remembers it put it, uh, put it in the comments it's a very um it's a very powerful one um so if somebody remembers it i'd love for you to to, to you know let us know and we're getting a lot of happy navy bay um shout outs uh for you satish so i hope you feel super duper uh special yeah i should you're not the only one for knowledge of our armed forces but we we got to do whatever we can um so let's get into the strategic side of things now i have a question for both of you think about it and all of us in the, at home you know you're watching us at home think about it imagine you're on screen with all of us right now just you know just have some fun just humor me right now uh let's say you're looking at a, a meeting room, okay? You both are outside and you're alone. It's just you, yeah? Satish is not with Sam, Sam is not with Satish. You're, you're alone in a, you're looking outside, there's a meeting room and there's a glass door. And you're looking inside, there's two people talking. One is somebody you know, let's say her name is Lily, okay? And she's talking to someone. Uh, let's say his name is Amit. Yeah, let's give it an Indian name. I like to be diverse here. Lily is talking to Amit. You know Lily. You don't know Amit. You're looking in, you're like, hmm, I wonder who Lily is talking to. You go in and she says, oh, hey, Sam. Or, or she says, hey, Satish. And you're like, hey, Lily, what's up? Ah, oh, no, good. I was just talking to uh, Amit. Hey, Amit, I'd like you to meet. Okay. And then she, she takes your name. And she introduces you. And then she says, so Sam is B. Or she says, Satish is B. Something. Okay. I saw this uh, uh, done by somebody famous a couple of days ago when it came to personal branding. Her name is Cindy Gallup. Uh, it's, a TED, it's an interesting video. And I said, hmm. So the question I have for you is, what is the B that she says about you? Any one of you can go first. I think that uh, I mm. think that for me it would be somebody within the office that has high energy. This is Sam. He's really collaborative and easy to work with. Um, in terms of, are you asking in terms of career or in terms of personality traits? Imagine that she's introducing you to someone you don't know. Is that the first thing she's gonna say? Okay. Doesn't matter. Go again if you want. Or Satish, let's go with you, and we come back to uh, we come back to Sam. And Satish, before you go, I have some people who rescued. 
Hi, Rashmi. Strategy without tactics is the slowest, slowest route to victory, and tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. Thank you. Thank you. I knew I would, I would butcher it, and I shouldn't have even tried. Thank you, Amir. Really appreciate it. Um, fantastic. So, uh, Satish, what about you? you? What would Lily say when she says this is Satish and he is? Okay, I, I think Lily would say uh, this is Satish. Uh, he's a Navy veteran. And that would stand out because uh, that's not such a commonplace thing to uh, to have someone uh, work with you who is from the veteran community. So she would say he's a Navy veteran. He served for 23 years in the Indian Navy and what has a lot of uh, lot of leadership positions. He's commanded leadership. a warship. He's been in command of an air squadron. Done a lot of uh, strategic roles. And then he's moved on to a, a corporate role. He led to very diverse functions for the global MNC RICO and help them turn around their supply chain and IT projects. And now he's here with us to uh, you know, take on so-and-so project. Perfect. I love it. Can you summarize it in three words for me? Three words. Uh, Navy veteran. Yes. Immense leadership experience leadership. and a great record. Ah, and ah, three words. Oh, OK. Navy. Navy. Na Navy veteran. Oh, okay. Veteran. Navy, yes. Vet. Veteran, leader, and high performer. Got it. Navy veteran, leader, high performer. Perfect. I'm going to tell you where I'm going with this. Sam, you see her. You walk in. Hey, Lily, what's up? And she says, oh, hey, Sam. Uh, Amit, I'd like you to meet Sam. Sam is? Sam is the business development manager who is growing relationships for our corporate clients at BNH. Okay. She sounds like a, a person of few words. <laughs> um, sum up, sum up that for me, Sam, in a couple of words. Sure. So relationship growth, face-to-face um, -face personal skills, um, and collaboration and teammates. What does that mean, Sam? Face-to-face -face personal skills. Something that when I was hired, they said that they recognized that those skills that I have when I'm talking to someone face to face, um, I can come off as very genuine and be in a room with somebody and ultimately my job is sales, but they felt like um, when I'm talking to someone, there isn't that um, money grabbing sales conversation. It's more of a genuine relationship that I can grow. Um, and they like that style of you know business. Got it, got it, okay. Um, Satish, back to you. This is what she would say, correct? Mm -hmm. Now tell me, what would you have li liked her to say? And it may or may not be the same. Doesn't know. I don't know that. Okay, I would like her to say that uh, you know, with his immense amount of uh, experience handling uh, a lot of cross-functional roles, uh, we have brought him in to solve. A major set of problems and he's already made a lot of headway and he's leading us towards uh, uh to a completely different uh, uh shape of uh of how we do things in this company now you know what i'm going to ask you summarize mm -hmm. that <laughs> so uh to summarize uh i would like her to say that uh, we brought him in because we wanted direction we wanted leadership and we wanted clarity in where we were going. And he's come in, he's sorted out the uh, confusion for us, and he's set in a completely different way of working. And we are far better than where we were, and we're going to get even better by the okay. time he finishes. Okay. I heard a lot of stuff. <clears throat> I'm, um, when it comes to like listening to clients, and we do things like resume building and, and LinkedIn profile, I tend to do selective listening, because that's how hiring managers are. They're not mm -hmm. listening to everything. They're, they're listening to what they want to listen to. What I'm listening to is cross-functional, and you can correct me if I'm wrong here. Cross-functional mm -hmm. leadership, senior leadership role, ex, ex Navy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be the theme of your LinkedIn profile. Uh, yes. Everything we're looking at today, see it through the eyes of these three things. Okay. Okay. You're not going to go wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Um, Sam, let's go with you. Is that is that what you um, 
would want her to say when she would say that about you? What would, if you could be that ambassador? I think that I would want more of a creative spin on it. Um, I think I would want more something along the lines of look at the fresh ideas he's bringing in to the company and he's an asset and a growing member of the team. I think I'd want that value to be recognized that, you know, I'm only a year year or so in, but this yeah. is a vital piece of our of our team that is working really hard and, and doing amazing things. Okay. So my selective listening heard creative, fresh, fresh ideas, that's what you said, hardworking. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. That's the theme we're going to go for as far as your LinkedIn profile is concerned. So we're going to go like, dive, we're going to dive in. I'm going to share my screen. Um, before I do that, three disclaimers. I have to make them. <laughs> the first is you speak to 10 different experts i don't like the word but you speak to 10 different people about your linkedin profile you're going to get 10 different responses so obviously take it with a pinch of salt uh it's a very subjective opinion if something works keep it if it doesn't work figure out why and it doesn't help you throw it in the trash that's fine and uh, the other thing I want to say is obviously take it with the, you know, it's coming from the right place. It's not to, you know, criticize you un unnecessarily, etc. Having having done my uh, mandatory disclaimer, I'm going to dive right in and take notes, uh, Sam, because when we come to you, it's going to be interesting for you and also to see if you can apply some of this stuff already, right? So, Satish, um, you can see my screen. Yeah, I can. Okay, excellent. Uh, so what we're going to do is everything we do here, we're going to be looking at it from the eyes of the uh, three things in case you need the mind, cross-functional, leadership, and you know the discipline and the commitment and the honor and all of the good stuff that, that the Navy stands for. Right mm -hmm. or yeah. you know, its armed forces you know stands for. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the first few things to keep in mind is you know just like I don't know if you guys know when you go to like a website, you have these zones which are um, you know they they call I think they call heat map. I'm not sure, but meaning that's the place people spend most time on, right? And what are those heat maps typically uh, on a LinkedIn profile? It's your picture. And it's this area. This is such prime real estate. This is called the LinkedIn headline. If this can draw them in, then they will go here. If this doesn't draw them in, that's it. It's the end of the road, moving on to the next profile, OK? And this part is the visual part. It's not the hook, but visually, it's interesting, right? Uh, you know, they say the book is sold by the cover, but you also tend to at least read, you know, what is the cover? So that reading part is here, right? This is the, the pretty picture. The, this is called the LinkedIn banner. And so. We're going to spend time on things which are the in the heat map the, the, that people tend to spend more time on, right? Uh, and um, I forgot to say one thing. When uh, you go to Google and you look for something, you see the results. Chances are you see the first page. You don't yeah. tend to go to the second and the third. So think of LinkedIn as Google for uh, professional people. You want to be on the first page. If someone is looking for X skills or X title uh, in X location, you want to be on the first page. That's what I'm going to aim for you today because the aim today is not your LinkedIn profile. Please, no. The aim is to get you noticed by the right people through your lingo. Remember strategy without tactics, that thing that I would do. So the idea is because of the work you're going to do in one week's time, if you get inbound inquiries because somebody saw your LinkedIn profile, 
and that somebody typically i want that person to be a total stranger because it showed up in the feed so we're going to do some seo type stuff okay mm -hmm. any questions so far no no all good. great okay awesome it's been very quiet in the comments hey aparna prasad tell me lovely hey ken nice to see you in jersey lovely to have you here okay awesome so um looking back to what we have um with satish satish we're going to start with these i call these the fab four mm -hmm. uh the picture the banner the headline and the about section it used to be called summary now they changed it to about uh your picture is perfect i love it it's clear lighting i can see that it's professionally done so i don't really have much to say here uh maybe one little thing i have and this is again a, remember it's subjective but my uh, preference would be if you could be uh, slightly more zoomed in the picture mm -hmm. okay and and why is that um, more and more people are on mobile so you want to be visible and the thing that matters is your eyes like a lot of people many many times people establish trust or likability factor when they can see your eyes properly so if it's a picture where you're a little bit far away um then they can't see it and am i saying it's a do or die thing no 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 it's just one of those nice to have that i think matters with this like at the same time i don't mean complete close up like only your face and there's nothing else on the picture that's a bit scary and a little so you know psychopath as well we don't want that but we want it to be just right so if you can have more of your and and trust me this matters a lot a lot uh human beings are biased and um we don't have robots in this view so first impressions all of that stuff first impression last impression it really really matters mm -hmm. then your banner now i like the banner a lot because i can see that you've put some thought into it right you're saying the old buka has turned into the new buka i see where you're going with this volatility and uncertainty complexity okay it's moved into this because of leadership um and there's message in it so i like where you're going with it what i'm going to say is that remember more people are on mobile mm -hmm. so if there's a lot of text in the banner it's not always read okay you know it is going to appear very tiny because it's on mobile so the things that you've written in there i love what you've written in there and perhaps that's one of the things you can write about in the about section because there can be a little more connection between what you're trying to say or the old buka compared to the new buka right vision understanding clarity what do you mean by that right and and at the bottom you have this line that's fine where do you fit in okay be a bit more clear like where are you fitting in what can you do for people so you can have your leadership you can have buka but try and avoid too much text because there's text all over the place particularly that last yellow line you know what i mean mhm mm it's free ad space so use it it's free ad space and i know you've used it but you don't have to uh, go overboard with it either any questions okay. so far great okay so uh, what i'm understanding from this is that it needs to be a little less wordy less less text i think so yes okay yeah um no absolutely lee made a good comment and i was actually going to say that in the conclusion lee you always know where i'm going um your linkedin profile is your sales page imagine you're the product it's your sales page it's your um resume it's your uh background check mm -hmm. and um uh, it's your business card hi how are you nice to meet you it's everything okay and it happens all the time that um when i meet someone for the first time obviously in non covid i don't have a business card anymore many people say you should have one i don't need it you have the qr code Hey, nice to meet you. Immediately connected, done, done. So it's everything combined into one. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know, Shashi, what you mean by ATR. I think you mean ETS compliance, applicant tracking system. I think that's more applicable to resumes, not to not to LinkedIn, because LinkedIn is more about SEO, and we're gonna we're gonna get there. Um, anyway, so let's continue. These three things, uh, sorry, these two things I've come to, and now I come to the rich part, which is the content. Um, not so much the content, but SEO. What do I mean by that? Search engine optimization. We know Google. Uh, you need search engine. So I like the fact that you've thought about this because I think you've been attending a few of these supercharged sessions before you've been paying yes. attention. So yeah. this is really, really good. Um, and you're looking at all the words, right? That people are using to find someone like you, correct? Yeah. They use things like turnaround specialist to find someone like you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, if there's something which is impressive, you should put in there. I was going to do that to you, Sam, and we're going to get there. Uh, you've been to Chicago Booth, great school, Navy veteran, fantastic. Anything that's accomplishment heavy, I would, you know, you, you've taken advantage of it. So I don't really have too much here to say. 25 plus years professional, operational and leadership experience. Okay, perfect. Uh, maybe one thing I will say here is front loaded. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. The most impressive thing for it first. Okay. And then the rest of it can come around. Um, and I'll give you a quick uh, example. So, by the way, um, if you go for all our viewers who are watching at home, wherever you are, I highly recommend you go to my profile and go to my featured section. And we're going to go to your featured section as well. And I have a, a checklist and it's free. So, please go take advantage of it, download it. Uh, because that's what it's here for. And there's going to be lots more details in it. If you're really curious and you want to geek out on it, then definitely take advantage of it. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned uh, on that checklist, and I'm going to show, show it to you now, is a formula that I call TSA. It's so interesting. I did a search, TSA, and I put my name in there, and that, that post appears. That post was four years ago. This is so important, and that's why I'm spending time on this. So your LinkedIn headline, I'm giving you this analogy. I don't know if you remember this Satish, from a while ago when I posted it. Maybe you do. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're looking for a house. You go to your favorite website. This is what you need. Three bedrooms. This is the square meter. Yeah, Sam, for you, it's square feet. Two yeah. bathrooms near parks and shops. Central location. Fabulous. Yeah, you do, you do the search and you see the results. They look so lovely, right? Um, some houses are right on top of the list. They match your requirements. Your heart skips a beat. This is what recruiters go through when they see results. They're like, oh my God, I have to close this. I need to get my commission. Do you ever click on links without a picture? Rarely. Now we know that. So I can't stress this enough because so many people have, sometimes they have um, no picture, which is horrible. And worse than no picture is they have a horrible picture, which, you know, doesn't even deserve to be on Facebook. It's like they're wearing shades. They're very far away. Not taking it seriously, please. You know, don't be that person. And I know you're not. Do you ever click click on links without a picture? No. Do you ever click on links without a description? No. It just says house available. No, that's done. So, dear job seekers, this is what I'm saying. Um, never ever write actively seeking new roles in your LinkedIn headline ever, ever. You're more than that. What is TSA? TSA is titles, skills accomplishment this is my suggestion do what feels right to you okay titles meaning what are those people looking for and here's these exact keywords like exact words is it a house an apartment in the case of the analogy right skills the, those are the parameters what do they need specifically right and i i, I saw that you mentioned um uh specifically uh you know the skills that you are um hoping to be found for mm -hmm. uh, and the example for that is Number of bedrooms, that's the attributes, the parameters. An accomplishment, what is it that you're really proud of? Yeah, Sam, even if you have just been working for a year, we're going to find that out and find a way to put that in the headline. I think maybe you already have it there. So this is an example, just so you um, get an idea. So, okay, front load it with the right title because you want to be found for that. Project manager, agile scrum, B2B, that's the area I want to be operating in. Okay. And this is my accomplishment. 10 years experience managing complex multi-stakeholder projects, saving organizations this much annually. And the recruiter reading that are like, oh, wow. Like that sounds impressive. 
Um, I can't stress enough the importance of a memorable LinkedIn headline, which is why I'm spending a lot of time on it. Got it? Yeah. Um, and the beauty is that, by the way, it almost always, like, you don't feel like you're done. It can always get better. I have changed my LinkedIn headlines so many times in this year alone. And if you guys in the you know in the come in in the comments and tell us if you've been you know busy with it as well, you're like, oh, I just thought of this. This resonates with me a little bit more. So it's not a one and done thing. So take advantage of that. Any questions? I feel like a Any questions, Satish or Sam, so far? Uh, if you don't have a specific title, uh, uh, so when you say title, you mean the title that you aspire for. Fantastic. Or I, I Fantastic. find the most people put the title that they hold. The title, in my opinion, should be the title you want. Okay. However, I have to give a disclaimer because some people think they're really smart. Yeah, if they're a marketing manager today, they want to be CEO tomorrow. It doesn't work that way, buddy. <laughs> so it's obviously <laughs> something attainable, right? Okay. Okay. So if you're a, a chief strategy person and you're ready for the next role, put CEO in there and you've done some CEO project, whatever, something. So it's not like a, you don't look like a fool, but it mm -hmm. should ideally be the title you want. Okay. Great. Yeah. Uh, each day is also a bit much, Namrathai. <laughs> but do what suits you. But I think if you're doing it each day, you might be overthinking a little bit. But sometimes that's the, that's the way to go. Um, okay. So this is the LinkedIn headline, and then we come to the about section. Okay. Um, we have a lot more characters here in the about section because you know you'll see when you work on the LinkedIn headline, there's a limit. I think you've just about touched the limit. I think it's yes. two or two twenty characters. Uh, remember characters, not letters, right? So. T or a W is not the same as an I in terms of space. You're going to see this uh, whether you're on mobile or, or on the desktop. So it does not mean that you use all the characters available and you have to fill it up. If you can get the same job done with fewer characters, that's fine. That's fine, okay. right? Um, and in the about section, I am personally a fan of using first person. I am, not Satish. Um, it's sort of an kind of an unwritten rule that in the resume you use third person, you know, he, mm -hmm. so, um, third person singular, responsible for leading, managing, um, you know, liaison, all of that stuff. But when it's here, it's social media. So it's like you're talking to someone. So it's very rare when you refer to yourself in third person. The only time maybe if you're the king or the queen. <laughs> <laughs> So his majesty, you know, would like a cup of tea. Uh, until that happens, <laughs> we're going to stick to first person. So what you want is, again, you want a hook. You want a hook right out the gate. Now here I want to uh, talk about something which is a little bit counterintuitive. Um, this part is like what Lee was saying is, is the um, um, website part or the sales page part. The counterintuitive thing here is that it's not about you. It is about you, but it's not about you. Mm -hmm. It's about what you can do for the person re uh, reading. So you you immediately want to think, how can I speak their language? As opposed to, and I'm not saying you did this, but many people will, will give their stories. Um, you know, this is what happened in my childhood and um, brought me to where I am today and I went through this journey, you know, like a bio. Mm -hmm. The reality is nobody cares. <laughs> nobody really cares. What they care about is themselves. This is how we all are wired. What can he do for me? If I need someone like him, what can he do for me? So you want to give them a hook right out the gate, the very first line. And <clears throat> the best example for that is look around um, people who have small businesses, entrepreneurs, look at their LinkedIn profiles, you're going to get a good idea. And I get this objection a lot. Yeah, but those are business owners. So what? You are the business of one. Please don't forget that. 
you're not an employee you're a business of one you're an entrepreneur as well and you do your own sales you do your own marketing you do everything yourself so if you have that mindset you can approach it completely differently it's a complete game changer which is why i beg people not to write actively looking no you're more than that don't let that define you so uh just as an idea um what i'm going to do is i'm going to look at my uh, about section just to sort of give you an idea i'm not saying it's the best one and i've um tuned it a lot over time uh in terms of you know how i wanted to uh take care of it uh fantastic so i'm just going to see cuz we got a couple of interesting uh comments coming in yes um fabulous i've heard the changing banner headline every couple of months is a refresh is a good tactic you know jihan it comes down to testing we never stop testing you see you do something which is why number time i'm a little surprised that you see you doing it every day when you do a change when you make a change you need to give it some weeks to see if it's resulting in something you can't tell it one day if it made a difference because you know rome wasn't built in a day right it takes time hey lauren change mine a lot i know you have lauren from the time that i got to know you and you want to be that person who shows and we're going to talk about authority building um exactly uh it was liz ryan who did one of these polls uh first person third person yeah yeah it's a little bit to do with common practice and and also a uh, 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 practice but also a, a little bit of um common sense you know because it's social media and it's very different from from uh, resume building okay any questions from you guys uh i always thought you know writing in first person would sound a little boastful uh, and third person would give a little bit of uh, an impersonal touch and some degree of neutrality Uh, yeah, and that's why I opted for the uh, for the third. You're right. You're right, and I think that that is completely applicable to to resumes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here, what is? Where are we? It's social media, and what mm -hmm. is the first word of social media? Social. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The idea is to be social. The idea is to draw people in with a conversation. Okay. So it's a. If you look at the objective of a resume and the objective of LinkedIn. a lot of people and we're going to do that i don't know if we have enough time oh, i think i'm talking a lot but there's a lot of um people who duplicate their you know content on their resume and they'll copy paste it and put it on the linkedin and that's not the idea they're completely different mm -hmm. okay so um just as an idea uh, okay let me do this later because I, i i otherwise i won't be able to get to to samuel in time and i want to make sure i spend time i'll i'll come back to the about section I'm so glad that you used the featured section. Many people are shy to use the featured section. So, um, so the, the sky is the limit. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you can use your own posts, uh, but I see that you only use posts. It doesn't have to be this way, right? So okay. think about, uh, for example, if you were featured in any local media, uh, national media, any article that you were, you know, published. if there was an interview of yours in a magazine this is the place and this is what lauren was talking about and that is the um, building the authority it's two okay. things building authority and also social proof remember those two words authority and social proof whether you're 22 or whether you're in your 40s or 50s it doesn't matter we're all starting somewhere and in a way satish you're almost like because i've seen this with other i'm not saying i i have tons of experience with with the, with veterans but when they start that career they're starting a brand new career almost like a 22 year old absolutely you know what I mean? so it's that it's that student's mindset beginner mindset which i th which i thought was very interesting um uh, for today because there's some uh, overlap so uh take advantage of the featured section um and and be a bit more adventurous with it that would be my suggestion okay. yeah okay and all what's your preferred link on the about page I is there a character limit? There is a character limit if you want to uh and I'll come to that. I'll come to that when I tell you uh, when I come to my own. Sure. But I'm a fan of using up as much as possible because that's like the about me. I can have a bit more personality in it. Uh it's quite uh, generous what they've given you in terms of limit. Okay. Okay, awesome. On the uh I just like to point out here that uh in the about section 
I did a lot of work after I watched uh, the session on supercharge with Kevin Turner. I think uh, yeah. I, yeah. I must have watched it uh, around three or four times. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, pause, do some work, continue, pause, do some more work. I like that because I see that you did the flying F. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and I think that was, that was a very nice uh, pointer that he gave out and took some time to uh, get yeah. that there. But uh, I think um, uh, now that I'm seeing it on your screen, uh, I, I can actually see the impact uh, that you know, it's created. That's the like beauty Kevin of said. things, right? That's the beauty of things. And, and someone was writing today. Um, I had a very hard time making my own resume and making my own LinkedIn. I had to show it to someone because your own eyes are your own eyes. Right? And I think your, please don't get me wrong, I think your about section is excellent. Um, it, I don't think it needs a lot of work. It's always about sharpening the axe just a little bit more. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, your experience part, I think uh, what I'm going to say here is that, yes, one line, very short. No, 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 no. If somebody wants to know what is this company, they can go to the logo and figure it out. This is you. This is your page. This is okay. not their page. So one little line about what the company does, and that's it. The rest is what do you do? So here you've written what do you do. Um, now, the thing that you've written that you do, think, is it description? Is it achievement? Is it description or is it achievement? I think it's a description. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to describe what you do. We want you to say you do it and how do you do it differently? Okay. So that can help you stand out. Otherwise, it's a boring brochure, which is descriptive. We don't want it. It's not a job description. It's an achievement. It's a brochure of your achievements. Similarly, uh, I'm not going to go into details, but similarly, the next one and the next one. So write as little as you can about the company, more about what you do. And I'm not a huge fan of writing a lot in the experience section, because that's, according to me, what your resume is for. Mm -hmm. Okay, It's more about telling the story of how your career evolved with time. Okay. Yeah, I promoted okay. and I came here, I had a bigger team, and we had this project, and daddy, daddy, daddy. There's a story. You're weaving the story through the LinkedIn profile. And I'm a fan of a few words here, not too long. Some people write their laundry list of achievements, which is, I think, do what you do what feels right to you. It doesn't, I just feel like then there's anyway quite an overlap with resume and, and, and LinkedIn, but they're not exactly the same because the purpose is completely different. Uh, again, that's my experience. Um, education is great. Uh, if you did something cool here, um, Satish, you know, if you uh, were in a club or recommendation or dean's list, uh, now we're getting into Sam's territory. Sam, all of those cool things you did, anything that shows leadership, write a little line there. Okay. 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 Remember, we want to be different from everyone else. Uh, we don't want to be um, beige. We want to kind of be a little bit of color and stand out a little bit. Um, this is good. Uh, education is fantastic. Now here, think uh, this is extremely underutilized, the skills section by people, very, very underutilized. Think about the skills, not the skills that you have, yes, but also the skills that people are looking for when they look for someone like you, because that is very rich in SEOs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, and by the way, when you start updating it, it's very interesting. LinkedIn is automatic. I'm sure you guys see this. Yeah, when you when you log into LinkedIn, you go to your homepage and they'll be like, endorse this person for X, Y, and Z skills. Right? It's just gonna pop up. It does it on its own. It's very kind <laughs> as a platform <laughs> to take advantage of that. And this is one of my favorite parts, and that's recommendations. So I can see that you've got cracking. You've got one in there. Um, it's a bit lonely here, uh, Satish. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you need more. You need way more in here. Get, get, yeah, yeah. And be very strategic about who you ask for recommendations. I had a whole post on it two days ago. Uh, check it out. Um, I've written very detailed on, on uh, how to go about it. What do you do? How do you ask them even? And okay. my, my recommendation, my recommendation for recommendations <laughs> would be um, ask more than you need because not everybody replies. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Some people are lazy, they sit on it for a while. 
Um, and that's it. That's as far as uh, Satish, your concern. So okay. I'm conscious of the time. But in the meantime, I'm going to look at comments. If you have questions, feel free to sort of um, jump in. Um, hey, Tawanda. She's in Philly. Everybody's in on. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to change that complete thinking. Um, human touch. I love that. And, and job seekers. Uh, yes. The thing is, I love the elevator pitch. And if you could spot in the elevator pitch, that's your headline. So I love that you said that, uh, uh, Tawanda. I think that's very relevant. And the about section also needs to be considered uh, the hook which captures your professional achievement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. There's a question in here. How are links? They're completely uh, different. Um, uh, Namita, we don't have a lot of time because remember your resume is one set of eyes that sees your resume. It's one set of eyes. And typically there could be things which are a little bit confidential, but you can share them on that document. But LinkedIn is public. It's public. Anything you share, it's public. So, so that's to be kept in mind. Another big difference is resume is usually targeted for a certain position, right? Sam, if you change and you're like, oh, I actually want to get into the creative yeah. ad space, you're going to target it for that. Uh, you're going to show a little bit more creative ad stuff that you did. LinkedIn, it's one size fits all. So uh, a very different uh, use. Um, so, and yeah, we're getting into the content part. That's Wanda talking about articles, and that's uh, very interesting. Uh, can we write about personal interests, like hobbies, vocation, side hustle? Yeah, you can. Just think, uh, Gandharf, put yourself in the eyes of the recruiter or the interviewer, right? Um, I do think that you can take advantage. And, and um, I, I'm a bit different that way. Um, I had a post on LinkedIn that went viral a few months ago. And I, and I said that the personal interests put them in the about side, uh, put them in the resume. So 90% of the people who read it loved it, including recruiters, because I don't know why people don't do it. I've been doing it since I was 21. And I have so many examples on how that helped me. Because what we want is the resume is to establish a connection with the person reading. LinkedIn is already a little bit more fun. It's already got personality in it. So try and see the balance where you draw the line. If it's a bit distracting or, you know what I mean? Or it's helping to get the point across. Um, all right, fabulous. So now we're going to get into uh, Sam. OK, Samuel, really nice picture. Uh, is it just me, or is it not very clear? It's not sharing no. yet. I'm sorry? It's not sharing on the screen. Okay. Yeah, we can't see your screen. <laughs> Yeah, maybe because I'm not sharing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Because uh, you were like looking at me, staring at this, and I'm you have, no, you have no idea what I'm looking at. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's a great picture. Um, same thing. Maybe if you can slightly zoom in, it would be great. And I don't know if if it's me or if it's not a very clear one. Mm -hmm. It looks great. It looks a bit grainy, right? And I remember what I said about first impressions. So I'm not going to repeat a lot of the stuff because you heard me. Um, OK. Oh, this is a great, great topic. Uh, there's a very interesting thing about using your um, company in the banner. Satish, I don't know if you've heard this before. Yes, yes, I remember that. It shows what? loyalty. Yes, that's what Kevin said. But there's another side to it. So it, um, it okay. Go ahead. No, it's it's about see the thing is it's a personal brand. So when you leave the company, you know, people associate you with this work, with this ah, uh, he's the BNH guy. And then you're gone. So I personally am I'm, I don't know. I, I I look at LinkedIn as my like it's my space and it's not anybody else's. So this is all about um Sam Levin, the person, and not so much about his employer, if you know what I mean. Um, there's different points of view. I mean, Kevin D. Turner said that, okay, you know, there's people who work in Netflix and Coca-Cola. They want to use it in their banner uh, because it's impressive. That's great. Um, at some point or the other, they leave. Then what? There's also a, a loss of identity. There's psychological things which I'm not going to get into. 
Um, but I personally am I'm more about what can he do for me in a very visual and creative way? Ah, this is what he does. Or, you know, what are your values? The sky is the limit. And do you guys, uh, I can see that, uh, Satish, you know Canva. Um, Sam, you know Canva as well? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, Canva is fantastic. So, I know a little bit. It's a design function research. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really easy. So if you go to canva.com, you create an account and you go to create design and this is a game changer you are gonna love it so much it's like a toy it's free um and the indian and in me loves anything free okay i'm not gonna lie it <laughs> and then you go to linkedin banner and you have so many pre-made templates already and just write something you know there's there's something for everyone and the good thing is that you can change it so you can change some of them are paid some of them are free but the paid ones are like one dollar also it's like very affordable you can change the text all of the stuff the coloring it's it's a lot of fun so a lot of people what they do is they design their uh linkedin banner through canva um have some fun with it i've changed mine four times this year so it's it's not a problem uh okay your linkedin headline is a uh, complete opposite of satish's linkedin headline <laughs> which is great uh because it means you got work to do um so think about those things that people are looking for samuel Sam, when they're looking for someone like you mm -hmm. okay and and put them in the front completely in sure. the front part of it and do you need to use all characters you don't have to if you're done with half characters that's fine Okay. Um, if you don't like it, one day you wake up, you're like, what is this? You can change it. You're not getting married to it. Okay. It's funny Great. because some people very, take it very, very seriously. And I used to be one of those people. I was really scared the first time I changed my headline. Um, I don't know where that fear comes from, but the fear is real. Then um, the, oh, beautiful. We don't have an about section. <laughs> I used to, and it was very just like resume. So um, I think a couple of months ago, I, I switched it out and was waiting to put a new one in. Um, but it was very much just kind of a copy and paste of my resume. Okay, okay, okay. Which that's I fine. learned was not what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, you're more than that, right? So uh -huh. that's, fine. that's fine. So your most recent experience is in here. Um, same thing we want, right? We want, um, I love the fact that you right out the gate talking about big accounts, right? It's, it's a big deal for a young person fresh out of uni, university, to be getting like gigantic accounts because Peloton, yeah. SoulCycle, Nike, Bose, Deloitte, wow. These are huge names, not just in the US, but these are huge global names. So talk a little bit about that. You know, do a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit showing off. Sure. If you don't, nobody will. Mm -hmm. If you've done some awesome thing that, you know, um, growing that account or, or yeah, increasing their and put in numbers in there, obviously, you know, it's not confident. The, the, the tricky thing is if you're still working there, be mm -hmm. careful that it's not confidential, all of that. Sure. Um, oh, you're an iHeartMedia because my, my podcast uh, streams there as well. Fantastic. So content creation, it's very kind of, if you think about it, it's similar to what we said with Satish, it's a little bit descriptive, right? We don't want to keep just, you know, uh, descriptive. So is there some cool thing you did? If you have a little story in there, very short one paragraph, remember, it's not a classic resume. So did it, sure. did it in record time? Or, you know, this achievement that you people still remember, even though you were there for just six, six months is not, a, it's not nothing huh? when you're a student, six months is uh, enough time to create some sort of event, you know, sure. Absolutely. Uh, similarly with, uh, with the with other media company that you were in. So it's great that you've done all this, uh, in all these internships. And if I were you, I would talk about these internships as well in the about section, the okay. practical side of the internship, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm what you did with it. Um, so, fabulous. So if you created a schedule, I, I'm just giving you an example. Let's say, mm -hmm. so you were, you were much younger then, right? Five years ago, you created a schedule uh, for a camp. Okay. Because of, because of the fact that you created the schedule, what happened? So think about the impact. Sure. We'll talk about the impact. Because of that, this happens. And yeah, then, you know, the, the, the consequence of that. 
So, uh, oops, and if you if you did something cool at uh, at the university, feel free to share that. If you were in a uh, you know heading a club or um, a project that you did, a professor recommended you, all the cool stuff because it's so recent. You sure. want to talk about that. Okay. And it's a little early for the skills, but feel free to get some skills and put them put them in there because you your your um, college experience was very rich with internships. Mm -hmm. So take advantage and, and put them here. You want to get this filled up uh, pretty soon. And right. the same goes for recommendations. Get, get started with them. Uh, the easiest place to start with recommendations is uh, professors. Okay. Favorite professor, teachers, pet, think. Think that way. <laughs> great. Have people who love you, and um, they'll have a few, you know, uh, great things to say uh, about it. Cool. Awesome. So now I think we're going to spend a little bit more time on the about section because that what you guys are going to see is what's going to take up the most amount of time when you start working on your uh, LinkedIn profile. So immediately think, what are they, you know, and this is just an example you know so i'm not a huge fan of emojis in my um headline some people do it there's nothing wrong with it but i'm not a huge fan of it um but um here i like them because i think it helps to have some breaks and i forgot to say this uh, satish because um sometimes there's also some font related challenges so for example in your about section did you know that it was going to show as these squares, or is that the one that you copied from Kevin's? Uh, not, not really. I tried to copy. Uh, Kevin was talking of that little gap between the yeah. left margin, and uh, yeah. I couldn't hack that. Uh, but the, these boxes were the best that I could manage. But I would have liked to have a different uh, icon or an emoji there. You can, you can, and that's the easiest thing to do. Um, you guys know how to add the emoji in, on uh, desktop, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, no. If you yeah. don't know, yes. ask. Okay. Okay. So, in case somebody's watching and they don't know, let me go with uh, <laughs> just to explain. Right click, emoji, choose whatever you like. Obviously, something a little professional, right? And then you're mm. done. Okay. Uh, so, I like to break things up a little bit uh, with emojis and try to write about, you know, what is the problem you're solving? right and so what do you do this is obviously okay. different it's different because i'm self-employed but there are going to be similarities in here that i want you to pay attention to you know mm -hmm. these are the clients i work with um solutions i provide so this is what i do right what makes me different Please do something to this effect on your about set if you want if you want to copy copy the the titles um and then, why have I written contact me when the contact is visible right here? Like, all they have to do is they click and it's there. What we're trying to do is we're trying to reduce friction so that if they're like, oh, wow, this is exciting, then um, they just have to go there and it's done, right? It's just reducing the number of steps. What you're doing is you're helping them. Help them help you. Think Jerry Maguire. <laughs> Help them help you, okay? And uh, the last thing in the bottom, and Sam, you were asking it, and I'm going to come to that, is if there were more keywords and you couldn't stuff them in here, mm -hmm. then take advantage and put them at the bottom. Okay. Feel free. That's what it's for, SEO, remember. So does it mean that you have to use up the whole thing? No, it doesn't. I, I don't like to read about sections, which are very, very text heavy. Um, I like a little bit of gap, <clears throat> a little bit of white space, easy to read. And that's why it takes up more character space um, when I do that. And it's so, so because of that, it's taken up a little bit more space. But if you can do this in less um, space, that's fine. That's fine. Remember, we said try it out, test it out, wait a couple of weeks, maybe a month, and then change it again if you don't like it. Nothing is permanent here. Um, last thing I'm going to say, and I didn't talk about it earlier, is this little thing. Um, if you want to impress someone and you want to pronounce, you know, let's say they have a very exotic name, right? Most people have taken advantage. I don't know. Have you guys done it? Where? No. Oh, okay, okay. No, no. Very simple. You do it on mobile. 
it's a little icon that's going to be like voice activated that you know you can tell people how to um pronounce your name so what most people do is you click on it and it says sam levin okay you click on it it says satish s whatever um if you want to stand out and that's why we're doing all this today why are we doing all this today we want you to get called in yeah then try this for example hopefully you can hear hi thanks for making the effort to find out how to pronounce my name so that's sonal behel sonal behel have a lovely day you see what i mean hi oh. thanks for yeah. making the effort to find out how to pronounce um, my name so that's oh, sonal sorry behel. oh shush sonal shush behel. <laughs> have a it's a lot more personable yeah It's a little bit more personable. Do you have to do this? If you don't like this, no, you don't have to do it. It's just a question of how can you be you, uh, and people are like, oh, it's LinkedIn. It has to be real. No, be you in a professional environment. You don't have to be like everyone else. Cool. Any questions? Yeah. Great. Great. I think a lot of points already. <laughs> Um no that's that's fine. Oh Lee you didn't know the voice thing I love the voice thing it's a it's a game changer when somebody calls me or I'm um uh not call but you know like voice texting on LinkedIn and they say sonal and I'm like I'm so impressed you know Sam is little little bit straightforward but let's say you're trying to get in touch with someone and their name is Françoise or you know Jehaldeen and and she's got a certain it's not Caroline but it's Carolyn you make the effort little things they go a long way i think you know it, it makes a difference um awesome so i'm going to come to you guys in terms of uh uh questions <clears throat> i don't think there's a lot of questions it's been a bit quiet here so i'm guessing either you're you know we have people watching or they've been busy taking notes hopefully this was um um helpful Uh, Namrata, you you're gonna have it on mobile only. It's not on desktop. But when you go to mobile and you have your name, I think this is the feature they've activated now in all the countries. So I don't think it's just um, you know, in in the US. If you go there, there'll be a little icon next to your name, uh, which lets you do that. What makes you different? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. So, what are you taking away? Because I. shared like a lot <laughs> what are you going to do let's start with let's have it city so we we went through your stuff um, first no yeah, i think uh, one key takeaway uh, that i have noted down is that the elevator pitch should be a, a very key part of your uh, the headline and what the, the hook should have the elevator pitch uh, and uh, to always remember that the linkedin profile is more like a search engine for recruiters and therefore keep thinking of optimizing it uh to reduce wordiness in the banner and make it more pictorial and easy to view on a smaller device uh, i think that's a very uh, important uh, part that we don't really think when we are looking at it or working on a desktop especially uh and this whole thing about about section being uh, rewritten in in first person to add uh, a, a personal touch to it because this is social media uh, i think many of us uh, at least i uh, tend to view uh, linkedin more as a very uh, professional networking platform and therefore more formal and uh, and, and that, like yeah. extension of your resume right many people yes, think yes, yes. Which, which it is which it is yes, but yes. you can give it your own um, you can give it some more personality yeah so i think maybe we should we should give ourselves some latitude to be more creative uh, especially with emojis and uh, you know icons and things like that to make it more interesting for the reader uh, i think that's a very important thing to remember to so make it look very interesting and uh, keep it uh, very creative looking so that a reader spends more time on reading what you have to show them uh, and i think some work i'll have to do on reducing the wordiness in uh the about section and uh, also with the uh with my experience uh and bring in more uh, i i read one of the comments it said talk more about the impact that you have created 
business, business impact. impact. Yeah, business yeah. Impact. So I've noted that down, and thank you so much for Me. putting that yeah, recommendation yeah. there. Uh, so th these are my key uh, takeaways uh, from this whole. Uh, and I didn't know that in the bottom of the about section, you could in you could use uh, very creatively to add those words which didn't fit into your headline. I mean, I I didn't think of that. I think that's a very uh, creative one. Yeah, I think your profile is already really, really good. So it's about those little tweaks there and there that sometimes can make a big difference, right? And and if um, um, like I I thought I had a really good LinkedIn profile, and then I went to a, a coach. This was back in May, and those little things made such a big difference. I'm like literally sharing all of those things, and I was like, really? That makes that matters. And then somebody commented, so you know, small things. For example. Like in the title, I don't like career coach. I don't like it. I, I think of it more like the strategic aspect, career strategy, um, career strategist. Who's looking for a career strategist? Nobody. <laughs> so got to write. But I'm like, no. no, no. So to insati you know, to satiate my own um, uh, stubbornness, I put that in the banner because the banner is not searchable, but the headline is searchable. So sometimes it's not even about who you think you are. It's about who you want others to think you are. And it's not about what you like. It's about what you think the others are going to like. So another example is I'm not a huge fan of emojis, but I know they've helped to separate the sections. Um, so I'm not saying I'm not being me. I'm still being me, but you know, taking things from here and there that helps the reader, like I said, holding hands um, you know, with, with the person. So um, before we come to you, Sam, there was a quick question in there. I think it was uh, Lilin. Lilin, we talked about it. We, we don't write active job seeker. I, I said that. I suggest you rewatch um, the replay because uh, you're more than that. I, I don't think it's um, something that. Uh, and I think there was one more question. I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Um, how about um, Sam? What about you? Yeah, well, one note that I had was achievement over description, um, stating kind of what I have done, what I can do for somebody versus just a you know, generic, you know, this is what I was hired to do. Um, so that's important. And then the about section, um, we learned a lot about hooks at university and like how to pull a reader in. And so um, applying that to a, a LinkedIn page where you're basically selling yourself and, and want to put yourself in the best light. Um, I like the idea of, of a hook uh, as a way to jump into an about page as opposed to just kind of the description. Again. Okay, awesome. So um, at this time, at this time uh, in a week's time, you're going to have a little bit of a different LinkedIn profile. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Pinky promise? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, so now if I may put in a quick uh, question. Uh, I see a lot of people with that green colored uh, banner which says open to work, uh, which even Kenwin uh, had spoken about saying that it's a good thing to have. Uh, but I also heard a lot of uh, views from people in various discussions, which is that that makes you look very desperate, uh, putting that banner saying that, you know, I, I, I want people to quickly give me some job. And does that really make sense? Uh, that, You're going that, to get, yeah. That's a great question. And we talked about it uh, more than once in different episodes here, actually. Um, you're going to get different points of view. You're going to get people who say, yes, you should. And uh, there's actually research that proves that people who had that uh, had a higher chance of being noticed by a you know, recruiter very actively looking because that, that helped them to see this person's available. Mm -hmm. That's the perfect world. The world is not perfect, okay? The world is full of biases. And one of the biases we have in the human brain is that we always want something we can't have. What does that mean? Yeah. Hmm. We always want someone who looks like they're employed today. I don't know why. Don't ask me. This is uh, There's deep research and, and studies behind it. So if you're already employed, um, it look, makes you look more attractive. That's reason number one. I'm not a fan of it. But the second reason is for me, like I said, the whole thing is a big extension of my personal brand. It's my website. It's my, my resume. It's all of those things in one. So I find that green crescent half moon thing. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't like that color. I don't like the way it looks. For me, it's design. It's a personal opinion. 
Um, but I feel like when you see a picture and you see that, this, you see that first before you see the picture. So I personally find it distracting. And I'd rather do something else, which is what? At the bottom, it will say open to work. There's a, you know, like a, a setting you can change in your, in your, um, if you go to settings, there is that option that you're open to recruiters. I prefer that you do that because yeah. that is searchable. So if somebody on uh, LinkedIn who's a recruiter is looking for someone who's available immediately, that comes up in the search. But the Crescent thing is not searchable. So there's different opinions. Some say go for it. You do what feels right to you. Uh, there's no, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. It's about what you feel comfortable with. And by the way, there's way more stuff. Um, we've just been you know, through a helicopter view. And, and feel free to go into my profile and download because there's other details in there just to sort of encapsulate what we talked about, take advantage of it. Um, and, and hopefully with that, you should be yeah on the, the right path. Um, any other questions, Sam? No, I'm great. I'm just excited to kind of get to work on it. My uh, profile was pretty fair. So. Okay. okay. Very good. Excellent. So uh, it was. This was. Um, this was fun. I hope this helps. Uh, you know, not just the two of you, but uh, the people who are watching today. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, take care of yourself. Have a great uh, weekend, and uh, see you next week. Next week, I have a fabulous guest, and we're going to talk about very interesting stuff that nobody talks about when it comes to job search. Um, so hope to see you guys then. Until then. Um, Satish and, and, and Sam, you can say bye. <laughs> to everybody. Thanks, everyone. And a, spe and a special thanks to everyone who wished us for Navy Day today. Uh, yeah, happy Navy Day. Thank you so much.